160 million years ago, the island of Madagascar broke off from mainland Africa. Over time, animals accidentally cast adrift on natural rafts arrived on its shores. They evolved into a myriad of bizarre life forms. On an island that has become the ultimate playground for natural selection. A magical world of rare and unique creatures, perfectly adapted to their exotic island home. Madagascar is roughly the size of Texas. It's the world's fourth largest island and has been isolated from the African mainland for over 160 million years. It's like no other place on Earth, home to more than 250,000 different species of animal, 70% of which are found nowhere else on the globe. It was 65 million years ago when ancient animals accidentally drifted to the island's shores. Amongst these voyagers were early primates. These animals evolved into monkeys elsewhere in the world. But those isolated on Madagascar took a different route. Faced with very few natural predators, they diversified into more than a hundred different types of lima and spread into the island's many terrains. From dense rainforest to dry, rocky slopes, and from desert scrub to rich coastal regions. Madagascar is one of the world's greatest ecological treasures. 99% of its frog species are unique to the island's rainforests. Half of the world's chameleon species are found only in its jungles and rocks. Some of the world's biggest bugs crawl all over the island's terrains. And 80% of Madagascar's trees and plants are totally unique. All driven to the wildest of adaptations by the island's extreme locations. One of the most iconic of all Madagascar's inhabitants is the striking ring-tailed lima. In this dry corner of the island, nights can be bitterly cold with temperatures dropping to near freezing. So ringtails start their day with a spot of sunbathing. Lemurs have low metabolic rates to help them conserve energy when food and water are scarce. So they soak up the sun to help them power up. Sitting bolt upright, they angled their white bellies towards the sun's first rays. 
once they've warmed up, it's time to start foraging. The trees here are generally thorny and not very nutritious, so these lemurs need to have a varied diet. A cast iron stomach helps break down the fibrous and sometimes toxic plant tissues. Ring-tailed lemurs are extremely sociable, living in groups of up to 30 family members. It's the females who rule the roost, using a range of calls to keep the troop in check. But if these fail, they simply bully the males. Ringtails rely strongly on their sense of smell to locate food and find their way around. They mark their territory by rubbing genital scent glands on trees. The males also spur mark by scratching spurs on their wrist glands against the bark. These scratches and smells signpost this group's home territory. And if a stranger is found trespassing, a face-off will usually follow. When territorial lines are breached, the result can be messy, with a stink fight breaking out. Territorial males make their tails as smelly as possible by rubbing them against their scent glands. They then arch them over their bodies and waft the powerful odor at their opponent. The intruding male either stinks back or flees. Territories are vital because they protect the fruit trees that provide the family's nutritional needs. Ringtails spend most of their day traveling through their range in search of food. And this territory is one of the island's strangest environments. In a corner of Madagascar, a habitat so unusual that scientists can't decide whether to call it a forest or a desert. So for now, it's simply called Spiny Thicket. The trees growing here are extreme. Some are tall, with few branches. And long, sharp spines. Others are short and packed with branches. And have swollen trunks which store water in this parched habitat. Many of these strange characteristics are adaptations to survive long periods of up to seven months without rain. 
Despite its dryness, the spiny thicket contains a rich diversity of plants and animals, many of which are unique to this desert oasis. And the most bizarre of all the trees found here is the baobab. Of the world's eight species, six are found here in Madagascar, where it's thought this unusual tree evolved. Baobabs look as though they're growing upside down, with gnarled roots sitting atop a huge, smooth trunk. They are some of the oldest and strangest living things on our planet. With their massive trunks, crooked branches and furry fruit, baobabs have adapted perfectly to this dry and hostile environment. Each tree can hold up to 300 liters of water, enabling it to live through the long dry season. Their life cycle is as impressive as their bulk. Most live over 500 years. Just a short hop down to the south lives one of the strangest lemurs of all. The Shafak. Its peculiar leap is known as the dance of the Shafak. And it's the main way these lemurs move about on the ground. But these curious creatures spend most of their time in the trees. And unlike any other primate, they remain upright when leaping from tree to tree, launching themselves with their powerful hind legs. This unique approach enables them to clear distances of over 10 meters. But they still have to land on branches covered in sharp thorns. Thick pads of calloused skin protect their hands and feet. The webbed skin under their arms aids their graceful glide through the air, as well as helping to maximize the heat absorbed from their early morning sunbathing sessions. Shafaks live in small family groups of three to ten animals. It is thought that only one female from each group breeds, while males move from group to group. This infant is only a week old and will stay with her mother for three years. The rest of the group helps look out for the baby. But the mother won't let them get too close. Like ring-tailed lemurs, shafaks spend their days looking for fruit, leaves and flowers to eat.
both shafaks and ringtails are very friendly towards people. The reason for this is that it's taboo for the locals to harm them. Shafaks and ring-tailed lemurs are key characters in the origin myths of the local people. Madagascar's human population is split amongst 18 different tribes. Most live a very rural existence, surviving on crops and cattle. But key to all the island's communities is a strong belief in animal folklore. According to local legend, all mankind is descended from just one man and his two wives. But the wives became envious of each other and fought until the first was turned into a ringtail and the second, a shafak. This human ancestry makes it bad luck to harm either lemur in any way. Anthropologists believe that humans didn't reach Madagascar until two and a half thousand years ago, when seafarers from Southeast Asia arrived in their outrigger canoes. These were the original Malagasy, who came directly across the Indian Ocean from Indonesia. They made this 6,000 kilometer journey by following the trade winds and the equatorial east-west current. This is why the Malagasy people share more traditions with the Indonesians than with mainland Africans. Madagascar is separated from the coast of Africa by the Mozambique Channel. The shortest distance across it is 400 kilometers. While Madagascar has some breathtaking golden beaches, much of its coast is rocky and battered by vicious seas. This natural barrier makes Madagascar both a very difficult place to land and to escape. cap in the far south of the island is a creature that has made itself well and truly at home. Towards the beach's edge, small shrubs are decorated with seashells. They dangle from the branches like jewelry. They're the work of one of the world's most curious spiders, known only by its scientific name, Oleos conabita. This small spider has used its silt to hoist an empty shell weighing 20 times its own body weight into a branch. The female lays her eggs in the shell, then guards them until the spiderlings are born. This extraordinary behavior has taken hundreds of thousands of years to evolve. The imprints of bygone ages are etched into Madagascar's landscape. These razor-sharp rock pinnacles are known as the Singhi. Their name translates as, where one cannot walk barefoot. The Singhi are limestone needles made of ancient coral reefs. They developed in the shallow sea 
that was formed after shifting tectonic plates caused Madagascar to break away from Africa over 160 million years ago. The peaks reach 70 meters above the ground. They're home to the extremely rare crowned lemur, which braves these knife-sharp edges to search for lizards and insects. Beneath this stone forest lies an underworld of secret caverns and vast caves. Hundred kilometers of underground tunnels have been mapped to date. They were formed by acidic rivers running through and dissolving the limestone formations, leaving vast stalagmites littering the landscape. The caverns are home to some scary looking creatures. This giant communal spider web contains several hundred residents. The world's largest giant millipede scuttles over a rock. This little monster is a strict vegetarian. Madagascan striped snakes, however, are not. reptilian carnivore is one of the world's only cave living crocodiles. These dangerous predators mean people rarely venture into the caves. They only dare to do so to appease the gods. These children have come to the sacred cave mouth on behalf of their village. They're from the Antakarana tribe, known locally as the Crocodile People. They've brought a shaman with them. He prays to the gods for good rains. These deities take the form of the cave-dwelling crocodiles. It's extremely rare for these sun-loving reptiles to venture so far beneath the earth. Crocodile people believe the ghosts of the dead linger here.
After the ceremony, the shaman induces a trance to contact the spirits and appease the gods. The trance can last for several hours. During which, the shaman requests safe passage for his people through the croc-infested caves and waterways. He also asks for protection for the tribe's precious cattle from crocodile attack. People and animals have to share these infested waters in this desert land. So attacks are common. <clears throat> but the local people believe they can avert danger by making a sacrifice. Every day, people come to this sacred lake to worship the crocodile gods. As they pray at their shrine, the crocodiles watch on. The men are asking for a good harvest. And in return, they offer meat to the gods. crocodiles, the same species found on mainland Africa, but this daily supply of food has made them some of the largest of their kind. Crocodile people hope to emulate the power and deadly force of their deity. Crocodiles are found across the freshwater lakes and rivers of Madagascar, from caves to rainforests. With animals as powerful and dangerous as these, it's easy to see why people have absorbed them into their mythology. South of the crocodile caves, right in the island's heart, lies Madagascar's rainforest region of Andesibe. It's much warmer and wetter here. Each day starts with a haunting sound. Song of the Indri.
These strange lemurs live in small groups of two to four. And every morning call out to declare their territory. The injury's call can be heard over a kilometer away. They jump powerfully from tree to tree. And like their dancing cousins, the Shafaks, can leap an incredible 10 meters. It's an essential way to travel, since Indri spent almost their entire lives up in the canopy. Indri prefer eating young leaves. but will also feed on fruit, seeds, and flowers. Their teeth are shaped like a comb, which they use to shred their food and to groom. pair for life, only finding a new partner if their mate dies. Females bear young every two to three years. Although this mother is the main carer, the father remains by her side. This young injury will stay with its mother until she's at least two years old. With the song of a whale, the colors of a panda, and piercing green eyes, it's no surprise that the Indri has become the stuff of legend. It is the only lemur to have lost its tail through thousands of years of evolution, just as humans have. The Malagasy believe that two brothers once lived here together in the forest. One of the brothers chose to farm out in the open, while the other stayed in the jungle. Legend has it that this forest-dwelling brother turned into an Indri. It is said that the Indri is upset that his brother abandoned him, and that is why he cries his melancholic song. Once again, being a creature of legend is quite an advantage. It's taboo for the local people to kill or eat this magnificent creature. But there's one killer lurking in this forest that respects no taboos. This cat-like carnivore is only found in Madagascar. And surprisingly, it's closely related to the mongoose. Over 50% of its diet is made up of lemurs. The Fuso will hunt day or night. well adapted to hunting in the treetops, using its tail for balance and its semi-retractable claws to grip.
The soles of its paws are nearly hairless and covered with strong pads, which help it to cling to branches. The Fusa stalks in silence. But the keen-eyed Indri have spotted the approaching predator and sound the alarm. <coughs> the Indri scatter. The predator sits and waits. Fusa have finely tuned senses. This one soon picks up another scent. It's located another potential victim. Kills quickly with a bite from its sharp teeth. Apart from water loving crocodiles, the Fusa is the only large predator roaming Madagascar, so it rarely goes hungry. It was not so long ago that giant Fusa hunted the forests of Madagascar for enormous lemurs the size of gorillas. Sadly, Humans have hunted both species to extinction in the last 2,000 years, leaving the 6-kilogram Indri as the largest remaining lemur. Other giants also roamed here, including the biggest bird ever to have lived. Apionis, the elephant bird, was believed to have been over 3 meters tall and weighed close to 400 kilograms. This gigantic bird disappeared in the 1640s, having been hunted to extinction by people. But its eggshells still scatter Madagascar's beaches. Intact, they are the size of 180 chicken eggs. All of Madagascar's giant species have become extinct since man's arrival but other monsters still lie hidden in the dense jungle. The rainforest region of Andesibe is home to a wide variety of life forms. These tree frogs are found nowhere else on Earth. Their skin becomes toxic from eating ants and they are similar to South America's poison arrow frogs. Hidden on this tree trunk is a master of disguise, the leaf-tailed gecko. It can change its color to match any tree. Its body is fringed with frayed skin that melts its outline into the background, and its flattened feet and tail make it almost invisible. This armor-clad thorn spider is also unique to Madagascar. as is the world's largest cockroach.
At over seven centimeters long, this hissing cockroach is the only insect in existence able to force gas through breathing pores in its abdomen, which it does to surprise and scare potential predators. The bizarre giraffe weevil is another Madagascan speciality. And it's plain to see where it gets its name. Madagascar's forests are home to a staggering variety of chameleons who creep along the jungle branches. These are possibly the strangest reptiles on the face of the earth. A chameleon can rotate and focus its eyes independently, so it can look at two different objects at the same time and gain a full 360 degree view. When the chameleon spots prey, both eyes home in, allowing its brain to make precise calculations. The tongue hits its target in just 30 thousandths of a second. This deadly weapon can be twice the length of the chameleon's body. Ideal for long-range attacks. Chameleons change color to blend in with their surroundings and often shake on branches to mimic blowing leaves. They also rock in between each slow step to merge with the foliage. Their clawed feet grip the bark as they scale the branches. Eyes scanning the canopy for possible prey. In Madagascar, chameleons are respected like gods and feared like the devil. Enigmatic and mysterious, these miniature dinosaurs sport a bewildering range of shapes and sizes, the result of millions of years of evolution. Madagascar is the perfect breeding ground for these reptiles and is home to half of the world's 150 or so species. Despite their incredible camouflage, chameleons are still vulnerable to attack by other reptiles, like this Madagascan cat-eyed snake. It's not only venomous, but a powerful constrictor.
The forest branches are also home to perhaps Madagascar's cutest resident, the bamboo lemur. lemurs get their name from their very particular diets. They too have had to adapt to Madagascar's extremes in order to survive. It's still a mystery how they can detoxify the high amounts of cyanide contained in the bamboo they eat. Weighing in at around one kilogram, the bamboo lemur is a sixth of the size of its larger cousin, the Indri, making it one of Madagascar's smallest lemurs. These tiny primates are perfectly adapted to life in this delicate world. This miniature mammal is also protected by the locals, as it is thought they house the spirits of their ancestors. But there's one lemur they don't protect. In fact, they go out of their way to kill it. They consider this animal to be pure evil. And as a result, it's extremely rare. Madagascar is a land filled with superstition, magic, and taboos. Especially when it comes to this creature. It only comes out at night. Bat-like ears tune in to the slightest sound and are capable of rotating independently. Its razor-sharp teeth grow constantly. They rip open trees before an extra-long bony middle finger goes to work. This bizarre nocturnal hunter is the Ai Ai. It uses its extraordinarily long finger to pick out insect larvae hidden deep inside the tree. As it climbs along the branch, the eye eye taps the bark and listens out for hollow cavities. If it hears movement beneath the surface, it gnaws away at the wood in search of its prize. The eye eye's powerful ears are capable of sensing insect movement deep within the tree. This animal's biology is so strange that scientists didn't know what to make of it when it was first described in 1782. Initially, it was classified as a rodent before it was revealed to be a lemur. But the islanders believe the eye eye is a magical beast whose mere presence spells death for a member of the community. So whenever an eye eye is found, it is immediately killed. Like many other life forms on Madagascar, the eye eye has evolved amazing adaptations to eke out an existence in this living laboratory of evolution. Madagascar is truly a weird and wonderful land. 
a playground of evolution where some of the strangest animals in the world have set up home. Isolated on an island of magical and extreme locations, life has adapted and diversified. With so few predators, numbers have exploded, allowing species to evolve to fill every habitat imaginable. Madagascar, truly the island of monsters.